Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are on to episode two of Antiquing in the Midwest. Uh, we are in Marshall, Michigan. Uh, we are going to head to Amazing Grace Antiques, I believe it's called, or Amazing Grace. I don't know if, they, I don't know if Antiques is in there, but it's Amazing Grace in Marshall, Michigan. Uh, we're going to go in, see what they have. Uh, GoPro on. I know I'm fixing it. I'm fixing the, you know, the shakiness and stuff working with me. Trust me. I think I got it down. I think we're going to be good to go. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm enjoying these antique store visits. Uh, obviously our store, you know, pretty straightforward. I know everything there, but now it's time to get to some of these other stop or stores. You kind of just don't you know, see how they are. Are they good customer service, good stuff, shoppable? We're going to find all that out. So uh, we are about 10 minutes away. We're going to be getting there here shortly and hopefully uh, going to find some stuff today because I'm buying. I'm buying to resell, doing all the stuff we normally do, uh, but also want to just kind of check out and see um, how the antique business is doing around the state of Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, you know, the Midwest. So, all right, guys, let's get there and uh, see what we can do. All right, bye-bye. All right, guys, we are across the street from Amazing Grace Antiques, but I do want to show you guys a little bit of this town. Beautiful town, as far as I can see, at least. Uh, a lot of nice mom-and-pop restaurants. Got a Grand River Brewery over there. Uh, yeah, it should be a fun one. Like I said, it should be a good time here. But let's go check out this antique store and see what we can find. Hi, how are we doing today? I am well. How are you? Doing great. Good. Good. Hi. You said that with enough enthusiasm that I honestly believe it. Oh, I am doing great. There is, you know, there could be way worse things going on. <laughs> Excellent. If I can help you with anything, just let me know. Absolutely. Otherwise, I'm going to let you wander because that's pretty fun in here. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Do you own this place? Nope. Oh, not the owner, just the worker. The just one, I gotcha. Take a day. Gotcha. So we don't have to hire anyone. Oh, that makes sense. I I own uh, I own an antique store in Nashville, Michigan. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I know I know the deal. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna try to buy something in every place we go to. So. We'll see how that turns out in the end. But I did see this in the window. And I'll keep you guys on the phone. I'll have to call Amber real quick and see if she wants it. That's a pretty good price. Like I said, the candelabra kind of. Three eighty nine. Nice seam chest. Two ninety nine on it. And it's a little up there, but again, it depends on the area you're in too. I mean, that's a lot of what the prices depend on as well. I mean. If you're in a better area they can get more money, of course you're going to put a higher price on stuff as well. I'm always a sucker for the chandeliers with the crystals. Very nice.
Bruce was always a good seller as well. There's a thing for bass or for bloodhounds too. It's always looking out for those too. Do you have a shop in Nashville? Yeah, yep. Uh, 66 Unique Antiques. Um, my brother lives in uh, Nashville. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> we actually live in Lake Odessa, but our shop's in uh, uh, Nashville. Yeah, we we've been there before. <laughs> you get rolling and always forget something.
Cruiser because it's a couple of their girlies. Less than 15, we buy it. Oh, no way. 48. No can do. Just let me know if that's a good price, I don't know. <laughs> price I'm going to have been buying more clothes than anything. coordination no this is Hi, how are you doing? Uh, 15 bucks, a little much though. Lord, you're supposed to be pricey. Hard to resell here. A lot of mid century modern stuff though. Very popular stuff, but the prices are pretty much right where they need to be. Yeah, 
I don't know if I'll be able to get much here. It's just not my kind of store, but it's a really nice store. Very nice store. It's not my kind of store because my kind of store is one I can resell a little more. But look, look at that piece. Really a unique, cool clock, but 129. You know, so it's just one of those things where, hey, I mean, it's not a bad price. It's just a price I can't do anything with. So, guys, I think that's going to be about it for this one. So, I don't think we're going to get anything out of this one. I don't think, unless we run across something as we're looking out here. Nope. All right, guys. We'll talk to you back out in the vehicle. All right. So we have another antique shop in the books. A beautiful store. I will say right off the bat, beautiful store. Walked in the door. Hello, greeted right off the bat. That's huge with me. Uh, customer service is so big with me. So Audi right off the bat. I was very impressed walking in the store. Very nice stuff. Um, the prices were high, uh, but I think Marshall is a little more of a richer area. So the prices were going to be a little higher. Just nothing I can do anything with. Uh, nothing I wanted for myself, which, or Amber, which I would have bought because the prices don't matter as much on that. But to resell, there was just nothing there to resell. So, so we did, we didn't do much on that one today, but, um, I did like that store though. So let's go through real quick. Um, we had great customer service, top notch. Very, very impressed with that. Um, shopability, I thought was very good. Uh, a lot of open spaces, not like jammed in, not crammed in. Very well organized, very well decorated. Very much like that one a lot. Um, past that, uh, then we look at prices. I thought prices were a little high for my liking, um, <laughs> which is, I guess, everybody's liking. I guess somebody wants lower prices, but the prices were a little high, you know, compared to what I would sell stuff for. But again, you know, everybody has their own thing. And so that's only, that's so subjective when I say prices are high, but prices were high in my opinion. Um, but selection was nice. They had good stuff there. Um, very much an antique store, if that makes sense. Not a lot of thrifty, not a lot of, uh, uh, lower end stuff. So that was good too, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but if I had to rank it, cause it's the only one we have so far, it's number one. So it's number one right now, but we'll see how it goes. Cause I, I guarantee we'll find ones that can beat that one. But I would recommend shopping there. If you do like a nice, you know, antique shop to go visit that has good stuff. Um, you know, and if you're not looking to resell, I mean, like I said, you're just going to try to find a good antique store. That's a good antique store. Oh, we've got a fire truck coming. I wonder what that's for. Well, either way, but if you want a good antique store, well, you'll see it. And there it goes. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Now we're back. If you want a good antique store to go to, Amazing Grace Antiques. It only has one floor, um, not a huge store, so you won't take up a lot of your time, but a nice store nonetheless. So number one on the list right now, but we have a few more to visit. So let's go off and visit some more. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you guys want to like, comment, subscribe, uh, share, all that great stuff, much appreciated. Um, and when you guys get some time and you want to come out and visit our antique store, come out and get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.